Welcome back, everybody, to Dark Souls. Today, we are taking on Seep the Scaleless for a second time. And we're gonna win. Alright, now we do got one humanity left in probably defeating enemies, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. Actually, we shall kindle this flame too, so we can have 10 heals. I do believe. This is the final bonfire right before Seek the Scaleless. But the ability of dying uh, is quite high. It's another one of those kind of platformers, so we're going to be going uh, across some invisible platforms. These trees have turned to crystal. Crystal cave. Okay. If things get kind of rough. Path ahead, yeah. This is uh, where you can pretty easily. Yep, you can just easily fall and die. You're just slightly off. Unfortunately, there goes my. Uh... <laughs> oh, we're back to being hollowed. There goes my humanity. There we go. enemies just moving on ahead. You kind of have to look where the things are falling and you should be fine. Emphasis on should be. Okay, I'm gonna try to fight this one. Which I didn't have any uh, stamina. to actually make it so that if I backed up, I would back up directly on the thing, but it kind of turned me a little bit. Alright, 
Another tent. Get it back over, trying to gain as much as I can. Yeah, all right. And that wasn't even that worth it. I think that was pushing me right now. <laughs> there we go. That's not what I was trying to do. This is a bad idea. could roll over to that one. Like I said, this this area isn't exactly tough in terms of enemies. It's more tough in terms of just the invisible platforms. You don't exactly know where there are unless you stand around and really just look around. That's what I need to do. the butterflies alone because it looks like once you touch them they fly up fly up and they're just like okay we're just gonna start pelting you with projectiles and we're not gonna land I like the boss boss butterfly the moonlight butterfly these ones are just gonna stay airborne looks like there's another path
kind of hoping. There we go. Fortunately, there's another enemy here. Fortunately, just, I couldn't. I didn't want to roll. With this out being kite, this not being exactly straightened. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate as well. How many times are you going to do this? Alright, finally. There's a path up there, it looks like. So good. Oh, that was scary. Imminent fall. Butterfly is not happy, it's the best. That just sucked. I got stuck on that tiny little thing. And then it just all hit me. And I think that was right where we needed to go, right there. Okay, back at it. We practically had it done, too. That one butterfly could just one-shot me. Look at all my health. <laughs> it one-shots me. Granted, the three projectiles at once, but still. It is literally just one attack from that butterfly. The scary part is just if you might go too far left or too far right. Here we go again. Grab my souls real quick, even though this butterfly is going to get mad. I think we're good. 
And there's Seek the Scaleless. Oh boy. Facing one, okay. Facing two, that's just annoying. A chance of dropping something, but they're just not dropping anything for me. I actually do think what they can drop is something that heals curse. Curse healing stone. spotted me? That one might have spotted me too. Yep, here it comes. Alright, had enough fighting these things. Wasting all our health items before Seek the Scaleless. Seath does not have. I think we have to hit that item in the back in order to be able to attack him. The Seath does not have scales, because that's why he's scaleless, so our, no, he should have a bleed effect on him. We hit him with our sword. Rather, our bandit's knife. Right, get away from my crystal. Throw that crystal. I'm vulnerable. Okay. Oh, I was on the wrong side. Okay, this sucks. Yep, I was on the wrong side, and I can't believe these things actually entered in with me. That was my fault. I thought it would set me on near the door where I entered, but it actually put me on the other side of Seek the Scaleless, right next to the crystal. Thus, <laughs> I went on to the other side of Seek, away from the crystal. Now I gotta do this run again.
I think if we should do the Painted World Ariandel first, or do the Kings of New Londo. It would complete the prerequisite to uh, fighting Gwyn. That's the DLC. It's probably the, that would probably be the best time to t tackle the DLC. I'm a little off center, so a little nervous. All right, we're good. Here, there we go. Stop pushing me in. Actually, I'm a little surprised I'm not getting the bleed effect. Yep, I couldn't escape it because I was hitting a wall. Try the rapier because I don't know. It's just not giving me the bleed, and this is much more damaging. Oh. Saw that coming, but I was too late to avoid it. Oh no! Get out of it. Almost done. Finish this.
bequeathed Lord Soul Shard. Set this bonfire up before those clams decide that I'm a free meal. All that crystal damage took a toll on my armor. Speaking of... Crystalline armor. 4.2... 10.9. They are heavy. This was 6.4, that's heavy. 6.4. We're about, we're actually at medium roll. One day I'll do a crystal build and wear armor like this. Even if we took this off, too heavy. too heavy. Over a thousand health. Lovely. Okay, yeah, let's uh let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and try to take on the new the four kings of New Londo. Before diving into the world of the painted world of Ariandel. Also, we have the one area with the uh, where we need the transient curses. We can do that too. I believe that area actually leads to the new Londo's spot. You could either take the Drake way, or you could take that way. We do have the zombie dragon to fight. I didn't even think about using the gold pine resin against the Scalus. I was mainly focusing on trying to do the bleed, bleed effect on him. to Blight Town. I hate fighting this zombie dragon, but we'll give it a shot. It only hits pretty hard. And that causes poison damage. And he can continuously use it. At this point, if you have range damage, it's best to use it. One Dragon Slayer arrow and Sniper Bolt, so you don't have a lot. Funny strength. I cannot equip it. <laughs> yeah, can't shoot it. Yeah, very little damage. And constantly feel poison. That's that. I can't see. Wow, I can move. I 
I tried dodging, but it, I guess the lingering hitbox hit me. Suppose if we had some magic, could use magic on it. Like, uh, if you have a pyromancy flame, we could throw fireballs at it, possibly. Oh, and I, uh, oh yeah, I never re did release Big Hat Logan. Hello. Oh, hello again. We're both managing quite well, aren't we? But I haven't found my father yet. Have you seen him? Really? Then I must be off. I'm sorry he's caused you trouble. He has a knack for that. If he just stays put. Oh, uh, you've been a Why? Tell me about it. Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pirate, sir. I mean, you're dead once again. <laughs> I don't know if I really sent it to the right place. 8,000 for fire orb. Goodbye then. Be safe. Don't you dare go hollow. Already hollow. <laughs> Just not completely. I need a lot more than that. Just need 5,000 more. Thank you for coming. Goodbye then. Come back. Fortunately, we can't tune it until we find a bonfire. Ah, oh, you. Have you seen my lady? Oh, blast, where might she be? And would she be safe? Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes. And do I, can I not tell him? Actually, we couldn't just warp here. Well, I guess we couldn't warp here from the Firelink bonfire. Yeah, we're gonna tune spells. I think for a moment what I was doing. I get one use with it, I get six. Okay. Well, I hope that's enough damage. <laughs> we can go in there and get a few hits on him, but then he's gonna whack us. Oh well, I guess it's better that our fire keeper's gone. Uh, cause if you do revive her, she's not happy. Because she gets her tongue back. Whoa! <sighs> that mistake. Uh, well, at least the elevator went up. <laughs> Alright, 
yeah, she's not happy that she could talk again. So, I don't know, maybe this is better for her. If you're wondering about the ending, I'm choosing to not link the fire because I've already linked the fire and you get a trophy if you don't link it. So I'm going for that last trophy. I wouldn't say last trophy, but going for that trophy at the end of the game. I think one trophy you can get is like purchasing all sorceries, which we're not going to be able to do. At least not during this run. Uh, specifically Pyromancy, because I believe if you want to get all the Pyromancy sorceries, you have to be level 50 in Pyromancy, or somewhere like that. In order to be able to purchase them all. Oh yeah, I can't forget, I got to go and talk to uh, our free Big Hat Logan. Give this Power Man to try. Even do damage? I don't even think it's doing damage. Straight past my shield. No hit. And that's a BM, or you could use, you just stock up with a bunch of arrows and shoot them from far away. Next bonfire, we can uh, reset my uh, power within. The whole reason we've been putting everything in health is so we can use power within. Oh, the crestfallen. 
Like he's gone hollow. Why would you be down here, bro? Nothing. Doesn't even give you an item in return. Decides to go down here and become hollow. Very kind of sucks. Need transient curses in order to uh, go past this area. And that's why. Gotta be quick. Keeper Soul. Jagged Ghost Blade. I don't think I've ever grabbed a Jagged Ghost Blade before. Pop off. Make sure our Transient Curse is ready. You can't use it until it wears off. That's how you know you can use it again and when it's worn off. Better to have it ready and available than to wait till we can't use it. Or till it's worn off and we don't know. Try to fight a ghost. point in two-handing it, since it's going to take two hits anyway. These enemies are very annoying. Pick up transient curses, definitely worth it. You only start off with two, but you can buy more, but you can also pick up more here. They last a good amount of time. Banshee one that screams. Trying to think how we get over to that treasure chest. Maybe from above? You see, there's a few here.
keep an eye on your transient curse, make sure you can still hit them. So going down here allowed us to do is keep from being hit when we go across from above. I really didn't think there was anything over here. I think there's anything on this side too. Yeah, nothing. Ooh, don't fall off. And uh, my transient curse wore off. I'm going to take a look at this treasure chest over here again. Yeah, see, we can't cross there. Steps that we can't get to. I don't think we would cross on that side either. No. Um. Yeah, it looks like we got to take the steps over there. Down there. Just in case. Wow, I was not expecting to die there. I didn't think that was a far enough fall. Kill us. Okay, well, we got four transient curses, so we're good. I know the area is not that large, not really big. Got to get through it. There's just lots of traps laid out, lots of places where ghosts are just going to uh, outnumber you. I'm just going to check out my dagger too and see if this is a little faster to kill him. It takes two hits. Useful. I think I just prefer my rapier because it has more reach. But we can test it in the very first few ghosts. Takes three hits. There you go, top off. That area wasn't, this part wasn't as bad since we were just attacking them, we were just going at it.
Well, looks like I left an item over there. Fine. Almost forgot, yeah. Okay, I think we can just go through it. If they want to attack me, they can. Ghost here. He's just such a huge amount. Okay, we line it to this one. Take her out. Turn around. Two more transient curses. This is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Oh, thank you. So much for guarding over them. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the ceiling and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. Ah, uh, we might not be able to do the Four Kings for the DLC. Hello there. The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible. You, Londo, was sacrificed to contain the Dark Wraiths. Mark my words. The Dark Wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. This curse, transient curse, all kind of useful items. down and then we use a transient curse just in case. But they last a while so feel free to use one a little bit ahead of time just to be prepared. I make this leap over here.
never made it to that one treasure chest, so there's gotta be another way to it. Humanity. Oh, the humanity. And you can jump over here. Rare ring of sacrifice. That was useful. Pretty much think we're done with the ghosts of the area. We're gonna go through here. Check back at that treasure chest, because there's gotta be a way to get over to it. Need even double back and grab that item. Probably more transient curses. Or another blade. There's gotta be a way down there. If we fell from here, we just died. We tried. The problem with this side is I don't see any entrances to actually go in. Look at that right there. Oh, it's a ghost. Better bring it over here. this down here, but even if we land on it, can we actually go anywhere from it? I'd hate to have to homeward bone just because we got into a spot we can't do anything at. In fact, even if we landed on it, it might not let us sit on there. It'd probably just push us off. That just looks like you'll fall straight through. Uh, it's hard to tell how to get over to that spot. Give me some patience, I'm uh, trying to figure this out. Let's go top off. Oh yeah, because there's a ghost up there. Oh, got something too. Insane curses. 
Okay, we dropped off here and we died. Unless you need like a catfall ring or something. I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Unless you have to land on the little platform there. Slightly jutted up. And then there's an elevator spot, too. Fell, fell down there. Could jump down, and we would die hitting the button. <laughs> but it might not stay up if we did that. Let's continue. Let's continue moving on. I'll eventually figure out figure this out. There's probably an invisible wall somewhere. Except or I have to land on that. Let's leave this area. That's it. Like we, we're done with the area. This does something, which it might. I think it actually uh, unplugs the area. Okay, yeah, and then we can explore down there. Valley of the Drakes. Fortunately, the area is surrounded by dark wraiths. I'm not sure if we could fall here. I think we'll die if we fall right there. We're not that high up right here. We'll give it a shot. At least we flooded, like, went ahead and got rid of the, uh, water. There we go. Oh shoot. The Dark Wraith. Okay. Hi. 
They're what we call it. They're trying to. Oh, there's two of them. I wonder if we can one shot them with their bandit snipe since the critical is higher. Can't tell with that one. Okay, yeah. Looks like we might be able to one-shot them with our bandit snipe. They never trust your surroundings. Fall right here won't be able to get back up. I don't see a way back up. So, I'm shocked that we're able to one-shot the Dark Wraiths. They're normally a lot harder. At least for me when I go through this area. That looks like it would kill you, maybe? Could be solid ground. Yeah. That'd be all fancy. Got destroyed. <laughs> Another one of these. On you. It's annoying. I'm actually stuck right there. How you doing, buddy? Surprised I haven't gained the humanity back on my own. And that's the elevator. Leads back up. This is the bottom section where we died at earlier. Go 
we'll be able to get to the treasure chest now. Very large ember. I hope that's the ember we need. Keep upgrading my bandit's knife. And my Ricard's rapier. I don't remember what's in the store. I don't remember if it's a boss or not. We're about to find out. Oh. That's the dark ray. Either way, without the ring to go into the abyss, we can't even fight the boss. Wow, the amount of dead bodies down here. That is nasty looking. I wonder if we could try to fight these drakes one on one. I don't need this anymore. We shall be starting, um, Painted World of, World of Iron Dell next. This is the best I got this. Nope. What? Where are you going? This is a special wyvern. does regularly. Wow, I got pushed into the electricity. Welcome back. That's the one that should be close to death. Alright, one down. Okay, good. Get out away from its foot. 
sucks. Okay. Definitely can't survive the rest. I have no health. I mean, you could use a humanity. But why use a humanity to take on two? Actually, we'll do it anyway. If we manage to win, then I'm going to want to be back to my human form anyhow. So we're going to enter the painter of Ariandel. Did it? Let's say, did it kill itself? Stop flying in random directions, it'd be nice. Alright, cool. One left. Actually, I think there's two, but I'm not going to go all the way over there just to fight that one. Could use a homeward route, homeward bone. Should have enough for another level up. The more health. We'll go to Andre, see if he can't take this large ember and upgrade these weapons even further. I'll do that before level up. Parish. So far, I don't think we found anything that has more grit to it. All these scimitars. Oh, what about this Jagged Ghost Blade? Yeah, see, it's got bleed, but 100 critical rather than 140, whatever the Bandit's Knife has. Server. We can't even equip it. Well, 
Thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. Hmm. You could forge enough with it, but no, so whatever. <laughs> okay. Nothing new to purchase doesn't seem like. Bandit's knife. The bandit's knife 11 using tight knife chunks. to Ricard's rapier. If we wanted to do this, we could, but I think we're good if the store is straight being what it is. We never know if we might pick up something that uses Twinkling Titanite that we want to improve instead. Get more stability from that. Reinforce armor. I normally don't reinforce the armor I wear, even though I should. The shadow stuff is. It does increase its defenses and whatnot. It takes Twinkling Tight Knight. One of each, or two of each. That'll make it stronger. Also increase our physical defense, which is nice. Bleed resistance and poison resistance. Can't ask for anything better. Until we get more Twinkling and Titanite, we get six more ball rubies again. Probably be the armor we beat the game in, to be honest. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Two thousand six hundred away from leveling up. More vitality. Okay, reverse hollowing. That's where we want to go. It's a bonfire we can still use. I think it'll give us 10, even if we go back to it. Yes, and this is exactly where we want to be, and it'll take us straight to the painted world of Ariandel. Pick up some throwing knives here, hopefully. It takes us three hits. Actually, I think that's one hit less. I think it took us four hits before. We can avoid these enemies, might as well. Ah, not this one.
Ouch. No poise. Oh, he's gonna backstab me. Yep. Annoying. There's too many of them. Okay, though. We'll take him out. Sweet. Guards Rapier still just killing it. In fact, what are the damages on these? 128 plus 113. 154 plus 133. At this rate, I'm just going to take him out. Two hits. I'm pretty sure if we get a backstab, it's just a single hit. Single backstab to take him out. I think it was already a single backstab took him out. Oh, drop something. I'm throwing knives. Not again. Mario 64. Wahoo! Painted world. Oh, oh it's not Ariandel, it's Ariamis. Oh, I kept mis mistaking its name. Ariandel, I think, is Dark Souls 3. And Ariamis is this one. You can definitely tell I don't play Dark Souls enough. Too much Dark Souls 3. Alright, Painted World of Ariamis. Alright, but this is where we're gonna end our video. The next one, we shall explore the Painted World of Ariamis. Ariamis. <laughs> it's so hard for me to say that. Anyhow, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.